Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you briefly about this Hallmaster rooftop mounted cargo carrier from Harbor Freight. I uh, saw a lot of videos before we purchased this. Uh, a lot of videos were talking about how uh, it makes a lot of noise, uh, it feels cheap, uh, you know, it starts to rust, uh, it's uh, flimsy, it's bent. People had to use boards to put it together, uh, you know, just that the quality wasn't there. So, Aside from all that, I went out and bought one for my wife's car. We went yesterday to Harbor Freight and we picked up the uh, Universal rails for her uh, Jetta Sport Wagon here. Um, they seem to fit just fine. The Universal rails are fine. This is extruded aluminum on the Universal rails. Some people were saying that the rails would bend by putting any kind of a load on there. Um, perhaps they mounted it in the middle, I don't know, but I'm pretty much impressed uh, for the cost of only $180 for the basket and the rails. We have a complete system. We didn't have to pay $400 for the rails and then $400 for the feet to go on the car. So that's nice. Uh, big cost savings there. The only thing that I did notice while I was putting this thing together is that the paint finish is not the most premium. But you have to remember, you're only paying $99. For this roof basket it went together easy i put this thing together in like 15 minutes the screws do not feel cheap i did not feel like i was going to strip them out they felt solid um, time will tell how it goes i just got this thing put together this is not a long-term review or anything like that so just letting you know that it feels sturdy it weighs 26 pounds it's about 39 inches long i'll show you the dimensions real quick it is almost 39 inches long, about 34 inches wide, and about four and a half inches high. Uh, it can hold up to 150 pounds, but that's dependent on the rating of your car. Our car can hold a maximum of 150 pounds per the owner's manual, so I have to deduct 150, I have to deduct the 26, and then I think the rails weigh about five or six pounds. I have to add all that stuff up. Um, this has a durable weather resistant finish that stands up to harsh conditions, rugged steel construction. This thing did not feel cheap when I took it out of the box. It felt heavy duty. Um, you know, thickness of pipe and all that stuff seems good and durable. It's gonna last for a long time. Um, the front plate, we are gonna pull the stickers off of the front. And my wife is gonna make some uh, custom vinyl logos to put up here, uh, make it unique, make it ours, but the only other thing that I did notice, it looks like during the uh, manufacturing, there was a, a gouge put in this plate and then they painted over it. Um, the screw was tight, but this plate was not down all the way. So I loosened the screw out, pushed the plate down all the way and then put the screw back in. Um, these little rubber washers here are supposed to keep the water out. Hopefully that does its job. During the installation, it says to use a uh, petroleum jelly, but uh, I used dielectric grease. I have a big tube of dielectric grease as a lubricant and also as a water barrier uh, on these rubber sleeves. And it says to slide it over the joint, not over the screw, just over the joint, keep the water out. So these clamps seem nice and robust. And tighten these down as tight as you can and then push these rubber plugs down over the exposed screw on the end. And this thing is not going to go anywhere. This is sturdy. That's going to get us through our camping season every year and uh, for long haul trips and stuff like that. Plus the cargo space that we have in the back of the wagon. So it's a welcome addition. Plus what I think I'm going to do is if I leave the basket on the rails, I have everything squared up and centered. And that took a little bit of time to make sure everything was perfectly squared up and centered. What I'm gonna end up doing is marking these and cutting off the excess because this is just extruded aluminum. I'm gonna take a hacksaw blade and just cut it off flush. And then I can put the bumper caps on the ends right here. I can put them so they won't be sticking out so far. If you see right now, it sticks out quite a ways. Like that. If I were to cut this off and put that bumper guard on there, it's less likely anybody would hit their head. 
or snag anything like that. Um, these are universal, so that's why they're so long. You can fit a wider vehicle. Um, they have rails up underneath here. They have slots that these uh, feet slide back and forth on. The slots go all the way up here to where my finger is, so it can fit a wide variety of cars, as long as you have these kind of rails. So, you know, these seem pretty good. They have locks on each side. Uh, one here on each uh, bar, there's one lock. So one lock on this side, nothing on that side. One lock there. And then this one has a lock here. I put them both on the driver's side. And the thing about the lock is it rotates a plastic cover here. You see right now it's red. When I unlock it, that just slides out of the way so that you can get your Allen key in there to unlock, to loosen it up. Once you loosen it up, you can go around the other side and loosen up the other side, and then you can just take it off. But like I was saying, what I'm gonna do is keep this basket attached to the rails so that I don't have to go through the centering and squaring up phase again. I'm gonna keep it attached to the rails if possible, and then uh, just hang this on the wall when we're not using it. I mean, it only weighs like 35 pounds total maximum. Let's see what these things weigh. Does it show me 54 inch wide crossbars with adjustable clamps to fit side rails up to 47 inches apart, resist rust and corrosion, padded lockable clamps for ultimate vehicle protection and security. Here's a picture of the lock, yada yada. But how much do they weigh? It's not going to tell me on the outside. Anyhow, I think it weighs about, you know, 32 to 35 pounds. That's it. So I can lift that off of the car gently, hang it on the wall, and then we can put it back on whenever we're going to use it. It doesn't have to be on there all the time. And I can go through car washes as long as it's a touchless car wash. If it's a touchless car wash, then it's just going to spray over it, you know, and, and blast the water down. So it, it, it ain't going to hurt nothing. I'm not going to take it through a uh, rolling uh, car wash because then that could probably damage something on there. So, anywho, um, that's it. This is just a little look at the uh, Harbor Freight brand cross rails, universal crossbars, and the uh, accompanying basket. Uh, like I said, we picked it up yesterday. These are $79.99, so 80 bucks, and this is $99.99, so 100 bucks, 100 plus 80. All together, and we have a uh, durable, long-lasting solution that's going to hold up a lot of weight uh, as we go camping and stuff like that. Hold all of our gear, ice chest, sleeping bags. As you can see, we have some totes full of camping gear. We have our canopy. We have our cots. Um, the garage is kind of a mess right now, but stuff is all over the place. But yeah, that's really going to help out. And then we can uh, get a net to go over the top to secure, you know anything that might fly off. So, all right. Well, that's it, guys. Till next time. Bye.